That's the one. Great spin. Launch and spin. So this is tournament prep day 13 or 14. One of the two. And uh, I was actually driving down here today and I was like, oh, this is just like, sort of like a boring practice day. Like all I'm doing is getting some numbers with driver and hitting balls. And I'll probably possibly play a few holes. Um, so I thought, right, I'll do a little intro on the way down, which I did. Did a little intro. Oh, I'm going to make this interesting today. I'm going to do three ways how I, three reasons I got from shooting, I went from shooting 90 to 64 in like two years or whatever. And it was like a little, I'll try and figure out a way of making this video interesting. But I got out on the golf course and I was like, why am I doing this? I sort of like started this vlog to just talk about, you know, like the day to day stuff, how I'm preparing for the season at the moment. This is sounds proper negative right now, but it's not. Um, I sort of started this series just to talk about what is actually going on right now, rather than trying to like make up titles and, you know, like I, this is not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it just to document my season. Um, so I got on the golf course and I was just like, what am I even talking about? So I'm just gonna just turn the camera on and actually talk about what I'm doing rather than trying to sort of like make content interesting. If you've already clicked off, absolutely fine. <laughs> and I wear, that probably just sounded completely negative. And if I'm slurring my words, it's cause I'm, it's cause I'm knackered. But anyway, right, two iron. Right side of the green. Might be able to get this warming up a bit. Downwind of what there is. Oh, it's the two iron with that flex. That's not bad. Let's get the other two iron out. Kick it out. Spit out. Oh, I did as well. You beauty. Today. I went to um, hit some balls on the GC quad. And uh, really, the idea was just to get some numbers because I just haven't hit uh, my driver on a sim in proper conditions yet. I went to use a track man indoors and they just, the numbers just didn't quite work. Um, a lot of people in the comments were saying track mans aren't the best at picking up sort of like spin rates um, at higher speeds. So I was getting some funky numbers. But uh, yeah, on the GC quad indoors today, got some really good numbers with my driver. So I really just wanted to test whether playing at 6.5 was right, which it definitely is. So I was launching it between 12 and 14, 2000 to 2 spin, carrying it about 325-ish on like decent numbers. And then I also wanted to see, because I'm going out to Joburg, and because Joburg's at elevation, I just wanted to see if I could spin one sort of around like 2.6. Because, because Joburg's at elevation, you need a bit more spin to keep the ball in the air. So 2,000 to 2.2 two, two over there would dip too much. and wouldn't stay in the air, so you'd probably lose about 15. But uh, yeah, I, I had to actually loft this thing up from 6.5 all the way up to 9.5 to get this actually spinning properly. But, uh, oh yeah, this one kicked right out lovely. All right, we got a par four, dog leg, right to left. Just got seven iron out. There we go. Beautiful. Right, we're gonna finish this strong. Two good wedges. Got 59, 59 yards, playing three up. 62, it's getting cold. 66 into the breeze a bit. Say nearer 70 into that cold breeze. Did a lot of wedge work earlier on the track, man, which I'll talk about on the way home in a minute. 70. A 
looks good from here. Clean side, but pretty good. Needs to go a bit. Yeah, that's terrible. That is terrible. Right, it's been productive today. So I'm gonna talk about it on the way on. It was a productive day because I um, got my driver numbers, which was really important before I went. And then I worked out what loft need I needed to get that sort of like two five to two seven spin rate, which is 9.5. So I'm ready to go for Joe Bug. And um, yeah, did a lot of wedge work. Whoa. Did a lot of wedge work when I got to Dainton today. So on track man, or track person, it's getting the, it's getting the 21st century, mate. Track person, all right? Um, on the track person, I, um, you can set up these like, uh, sort of like accuracy challenges, skill tests, I think they're called. I wouldn't be very good at the market, on the marketing team of track man, track person. Fuck, messed up already. Um, so you can go, right, give me yardages from 40 yards to 120 yards, and it will randomize yardages, but it will also come up on the screen. It'd be like, right, the target, because you can set where the target is on the range in terms of like line-wise, and then it will come up and say, right, so 79 yards, and then it will come up on a green, so I show it's on a green, and maybe it'll look, it'd be like top front left on the green, but you've got 79, and it will have the, like a good area to hit it into, and if you miss left, you lose more um, to sort of like strokes gained um, with like the tour numbers. And um, so yeah, it's honestly, that's so good. So I did a lot of that, and um, that's definitely something that I'm leaning into and trying to do a lot of. I really would like to find a way of doing that like not on a driving range mat so we'll we'll get creative with that one and uh, yeah then hit a lot of balls so good productive practice day I started started boxing again yesterday after quite a long break from boxing I was doing like Muay Thai for a bit in between boxing um, but I've gone back to doing boxing because I just love it um, and I've the new boxing coach that I've got in Exeter, he's uh, an ex-professional fighter and he really like gets into like the technique, like the footwork. And you know, that's all the stuff that I really wanted to do when I started, but I haven't actually found someone that goes through that stuff yet. So really looking forward to continue with that. Um, the reason I'm bringing that up is because if you wanna um, do some training outside of the gym for golf, start boxing because you will get quick and uh, it's amazing for fitness and it's enjoyable. Honestly, when I, uh, when I was in, after coming back from Spain, all I did out there, because I didn't have access to a gym, was calisthenics for like two months. So I lost quite a bit of weight and I got back in the gym and I started doing, you know, the compound lifts, the deadlifts and squats, etc. But I also was boxing like two times a week for I think it's like six weeks. And I think I put on 12 mile an hour club head speed in that period. I had dropped back to like 118 and I was like just cruising at 128 mile an hour. Because if you think about like the movement in boxing, you're rotating, you're using the floor, you're anchoring yourself in the floor and you're powering up off the floor. It's a rotation, rotation movement using the floor. It is like the same sort of idea as golf. So you get so fast, it's, it's a joke. Um, like usually if I'm training like twice a week, I'll have to readjust my yardages after a few weeks because I'll be hitting a like half a club further straight away. So anyway, I'm gonna continue with that. I might actually go into a bit more of that. Um, but uh, oh, you're gonna keep coming, aren't you? No problem. I'll get out of your way. Cheers. Uh, yeah, and tonight, just on my way to the gym, I, at the moment, I'm doing sort of like, you've got to wait. No. <laughs> you've got to love it. Um, at the moment, I'm doing sort of like a push-pull legs with an added arm stay because it's super important when you're a golfer and when you're training for golf, having big arms is vital. Um, so that is added in. So over a week, I'll probably do like four lifting sessions, push, pull legs, and then add an arm session in. 
because why not really because i enjoy it um and then i'll do the boxing stuff as well and that's like a good bit of um fitness and also explosive power and i really feel like that's a nice that's a nice mix there but i don't bother with all the like lying on a rotation like lying on a medicine ball and rotating with one kilo dumbbells looking like it's um don't know why I've gone in so hard on that. Or a lot of band work. I just, I've just found from experience, when I've tried to do golf specific stuff in the past, all I end up doing is losing strength, losing weight, losing power. So I just feel like the most important things are um, just, you know, using progressive overloads to get stronger and more muscular. Um, and as a result, you're going to be your potential for power is higher, and then mix in a bit of explosive stuff in whatever form. Maybe it's like doing swing sticks and going at it with swing sticks a couple of times a week, or maybe it's boxing. Like I, I get bored doing that swing stick stuff, and it also messes up my sequencing when I continuously try and swing a light club at like 140 mile an hour. I just feel like it just knocks out my sequencing completely. So yeah, boxing works really well in that regard. So yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. And then when I get home after that, I'm gonna go out for a four mile run. So yeah, we're hitting it hard today, but... Um, oh, three dogs, three dogs. Imagine trying to walk three dogs. Hello. So yeah, that's where we are today. Apologies, it was uh, got a bit negative. It's not negative. Um, I just... Yeah, was trying to figure out figure out a way of making this interesting, but all you got like all I'm doing the the, the reason I started this is just to turn on a camera and sort of document without too much effort or thought. I'm just sort of going through my day to day. It's going to be interesting to some people. It's not going to be interesting to others. So I'm just going to talk about whatever comes up and um, try not to look for clickbait and all of that bullshit. So cheers, cheers for watching. Much appreciated. If you're still there, I applaud you. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, three days until we go to South Africa. Until we go to South Africa, because we're going together. I'm going to show you the proper trip. There's bits of South Africa that I've not shown you, like the Uber drivers and the like the Uber rides. And oh my God, this cyclist. Want does he want to die? That's not any intent there, by the way. What is he doing? Oh God. Um, yeah, there's, I've not really shown South Africa outside of the golf course and I really feel like I can go into that a bit more. So it's going to be interesting. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening, morning, midday, afternoon. Cheers then.